As Microsoft rebrands the latest Office version from Office 365 to Microsoft 365, it's the perfect time to bring you up to date on the current state of Excel and take a deeper look into the top 10 Excel new features that have been added recently or will be rolled out this year. For a full review of Excel and Microsoft 365, visit excelfind.com, link is in the description. Number 1. New Functions This is probably the most groundbreaking addition to Excel. Microsoft added 8 powerful new functions, 2 advanced lookup functions and 6 functions that belong to a completely new category called dynamic array functions. For this snapshot, we're gonna take a quick look at xlookup and the filter function, because these are true game changers for any Excel user. For all other functions and any Excel function in general, I recommend to take a look at our newly built Excel functions database on excelfind.com. In there, you will find every Excel function available, you can search for functions and you can filter them by relevance, category and even by minimum required Office version. So for example, if you have Office 2013 and want to know what functions you will get on top if you upgrade to the latest version, just select all higher Office versions in this filter and the database spits out all the additional functions that came with the later versions. Now the xlookup function basically replaces the vlookup function, the hlookup function and the index match formula all at once. Let me show you that with a quick example. Here we have a data table with information about our sales reps, each of them selling a specific product and generating a certain total revenue. If we now want to look up a person and return his or her total revenue, we would have used vlookup in the old Excel versions, but we can do that easily with xlookup by just inserting the lookup value, then selecting the lookup range, and the return range. Perfect! vlookup is no longer required. But with xlookup we are not limited to columns. We can also do a horizontal lookup by selecting rows instead of columns. So for example let's select this header row as our lookup row and this row as the return row. And now we set the lookup value to product and it will return the product from our selected return row. So the hlookup function is no longer required either. But xlookup just got started. Let's take another look at vertical lookup. The big problem with vlookup was, if we select a lookup column, we were only able to look up values to the right. That's why we needed a workaround with the index match function to also be able to look up values to the left. But with xlookup, that problem no longer exists, because with this function we define the lookup array and the return array separately. That means we can easily define a lookup column and then select any column no matter if it is on the right or the left side. So in the past we would have needed index match to look up the HRID of one of our sales reps. Now we only need xlookup. Beautiful. xlookup does not only replace all these functions at once, it also gives you much more options when looking up values by introducing different match modes. So instead of exact match, we can also select the next larger or smaller item, which allows you to do lookups more effectively with numerical values, or we can use wildcard match, which is really helpful if you don't know how to spell a name or a search term exactly. And then the xlookup function also allows you to change the search mode to reverse order search, which has to be possible with the old lookup functions. There is one last thing that makes xlookup even more powerful. Because now with the lookup array and the return array being defined separately, we are no longer limited to returning only one value. Instead of only returning the HRID of Sarah Parker, we can easily return all information about her just by selecting the whole data table range as our return array. And that hasn't been possible before with lookup functions. But what if we want to look up a value that exists multiple times in the table and we want to return all the matching results, like if we search for US and change the lookup array to the region column. Now the xlookup function only spits out the one row based on the first match it found. But no worries, that is where the filter function comes into play. 
because the filter function is able to look up a value and return multiple results. It is a dynamic array function. And when we use it, we simply have to define an array, which is basically the return array. And then for the include parameter, we put in a lookup column and set it equal to our search value. That's already it. Let's hit enter. And right there you see the magic of dynamic array functions. This is why they are so revolutionary, because you enter the formula in one cell and it returns multiple results and spills these results to a surrounding range of cells. If we change the search value, it filters out the correct rows in our data and readjusts the output range automatically. Number 2. New Chart Types Building reports and dashboards is a crucial task in Excel. And there are multiple new chart types that increase the possibilities in data visualization tremendously. One of these new additions is the map chart, which allows you to visualize geographical data beautifully as it recognizes the countries and regions automatically just as you insert it. If you include more regions, it automatically adjusts the map area and zoom level to display all relevant countries. The map chart works on different geographical levels like countries, states, even counties and postal codes. For a full insight, take a look at my full map chart tutorial. Another great new chart is the waterfall chart. Especially in a business context, you often need to visualize how something is composed, like for example the total cost of something. With the waterfall chart, you can perfectly visualize the stepwise composition of a total value. In order to define which of these values is your total value, just right click on the data point to format it and select set as total. What is really powerful about this chart is that it is perfectly suited to display positive and negative values that add up to build a total value. As you see, negative values are automatically colored differently and added to the legend as a separate series. For everyone who has to do with sales, the funnel chart is a really helpful new chart to display a full funnel process with only one click. You should have your funnel data sorted from the beginning to the final stage and then you find the funnel chart in this drop down option together with the waterfall chart. Just insert it and there you have the perfect visualization of your funnel process. One last relevant new chart is the histogram. While in earlier Excel versions you needed to install an additional add-in for basic statistical visualizations, the histogram now has been added as a standard chart of Excel. To insert it for a set of numerical data, simply click into your data and in the insert tab you can directly see the histogram symbol. And there you have a beautiful visualization of your data distribution. Number 3. Smart Data Types Smart data types are a huge advancement in Excel. Microsoft started this feature by introducing two smart data types which are stocks and geography. Let's say you have a table with the stock ticker names of all the stocks in your portfolio. Then select all the symbols, go to the data tab and in there select stocks. Excel automatically recognizes the ticker symbols and adds the correct ticker to the cell. It also creates an icon on the left side which opens up a data card with all sorts of information about this stock if you click on it. Since your stock data are in a table, we can now click on this symbol to add a new column and fill in all sorts of live data, like the current price, the high and low, or the market cap. So if you have a portfolio of stocks, you can just put in these information about your portfolio composition and calculate the life value of your portfolio. You can do the exact same for geographical data. Just select the geography data type and then you can add all sorts of country related data in there. May it be financial, demographical, or even political information like the country leaders. That is pretty cool. Number 4. Ideas. Ideas is one of Excel's new AI features. It automatically detects patterns in your data and even answers natural language questions. Questions that your boss could ask you. It is super simple to use. Here we have some data on the sales performance of our sales reps over a few months. To apply the ideas feature, we just have to click inside the data and then find the ideas button in the home tab on the right side. 
This opens up the ideas area where you can find instant insights and analysis of the given data that might be interesting for us, like summaries, rankings, correlations and comparisons. It picks out insights that might be worth taking a deeper look into, like the decreasing sales performance of Adeline Briggs over time, which might be worrying. We can insert any of these insights as a pivot chart into a new worksheet with one click. Pretty amazing. But it is even better than that. If your boss asks you which are the top 5 names by total sales, you can just enter that question in natural language and Excel spits out the perfect visualization for you. We can enter any question we want. So for example if we want to take a deeper look at Sarah Parker, we can just enter our analysis questions into this field, get her total sales, even more specific her total sales per month, or our sales in a specific region visualized over time. Or let's just ask a tool to compare two regions. That is really impressive. All of these insights can be generated and inserted easily with the ideas feature. Number 5. Default Pivot Table Layouts Default Pivot Table Layouts have been a long awaited feature by many Excel users that were using pivot tables on a regular basis. The problem with pivot tables was, when you insert a new pivot table, it is always inserted with a specific standard layout. And you weren't able to save a custom layout in order to use it for the next pivot table you insert. Let me show you. We're gonna create this pivot table here with region and name stacked in the rows and sum of sales as the values. But we are not happy with this layout. We want to get rid of the plus minus buttons. We don't want to have these subtotals displayed. And our preferred report layout is the tabular form. Beautiful. But if we now create another pivot table, none of our layout changes have been preserved because we were not able to save that layout and we would have to do the whole layout adjustment one more time. Until now, because now you're able to set a default pivot table layout. For that, we go to File and open the Excel options. And in the Data tab, we now have this button to edit the default pivot table layout. We can either select our preferences manually or simply import a layout by clicking inside a pivot table that has the layout we want. And then we click on Import. You see, all the values are automatically adjusted and we can even adjust the pivot table options for more adjustments if we like. If we now insert a new pivot table, it has our defined layout. And that will save us a lot of time in the future. Number 6. Get Add-ins All Office applications now have a new option called Get Add-ins. This option allows you to access and install thousands of add-ins right from within Excel. In this Office add-in store, you will find many new add-ins, but also some add-ins you might already be familiar with. Like for example the Solver. You can install it simply by clicking on Add and agreeing to the terms and conditions. And after a few seconds, there it is, ready to be used. Under My Add-ins you have an overview of all installed add-ins. And if you want to install another add-in, just click on Store up there and you are right back in the add-in store. Number 7. Integrated Icon Library You will love the newly integrated icon library if you are regularly building advanced reports and data visualizations like dashboards. I personally use this feature heavily for all my Excel dashboards which I will link for you in the description. If you go to the Insert tab and click on Icons, you get access to a huge database of beautiful icons that you can insert with one click. Microsoft started this feature with a small set of icons, but they are constantly adding new icons to the portfolio. You can directly search for a specific icon or just browse through all these categories. If you want to insert one or multiple icons, just click on them. There you see the green check mark. And once you have all icons selected, click Insert and they will be inserted directly. After inserting, these are fully editable shapes. So any sort of customization is possible. Like for example changing the fill or line color. Number 8. Insert data from pictures 
This is a really cool feature that allows you to use your smartphone to take a photo of a data table that's on a physical piece of paper, crop it to the relevant data area, and then directly insert all these data into Excel by using image recognition. You'll get a preview in which you can review if the recognition results are correct. And once you're happy, just insert the data and you have them ready to be used in a spreadsheet. And of course, if you like, you can just transfer it to your computer and work with it on there. Number 9. Money in Excel Money in Excel is a feature that is completely new and will be rolled out this year to all users of the latest Excel version. It is a dynamic template that allows you to securely connect bank accounts and credit cards to view your financial information without ever leaving Excel. You can keep your workbook up to date by synchronizing your latest transactions and account information and gain instant insight into your finances with charts, graphs and even alerts based on your data. Number 10. Additional Smart Data Types if you already like the stocks and geography data types, you're gonna love these additional smart data types that will be rolled out this year. With these new data types, Excel provides deeper meaning for over 100 additional topics, including food, movies, places, chemistry, and even Pokemon. By converting your plain text into one of these data types, Excel will recognize these items, provide you with interactive data cards, and allow you to quickly build these beautiful smart templates. These new data types will be a huge addition for everyone who uses Excel to track and analyze data with lists and more complex models in order to make decisions, but wants to save a lot of time at collecting, organizing and refreshing these data. So I'm personally really looking forward to this feature. That's it for this video on the top 10 Excel new features. Let me know in the comments which of these new features you like the most I got all relevant videos and tutorials for deeper insights linked for you in the description. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this one, don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. I wish you a beautiful day and see you next time. Cheers!